Lewis, a uh, few more names have been announced for the, the Legends game on your team. Um, Hambo's added some names to his. Uh, shaping up quite nicely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, just for the Tigers Legends, the ABC club, um, to have those guys announced is uh, brilliant, along with Jono. Um, so, yeah, very exciting. I've just seen Hambo's team now and I'm <laughs> a little bit nervous. Um, he's got some great players um, that he's going to be announcing soon, so it um, should be a great day. Yeah, I haven't seen Hambo's team. Do you want to beef your squad up? Um, my squad's pretty good, yeah. Um, obviously need a couple more um, to add to that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it should be, like, you know, a lot of these guys haven't played sort of five, six years, so to be getting the boots back on after that amount of time out, um, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing just to support obviously me and my benefit here and, and also Hambo and his foundation, um, it's pretty great. Yeah, some of the names then, because you've got World Cup winners on both sides, haven't you? Yeah, I think, um, well, I've mentioned the ABC club and Jono, um, Austin Ely, if he's uh, free from his ESPN duties, but um, I think that should be okay. And Freddie Tuolangi in my team, and then Hambo sort of got Serge Betson, Josh Lucy, Jason Robinson. Um, forgot all the others, but uh, no, there's a, there's a fair few in there. Yeah, and um, it's, it seems to be that something's really capturing supporters' imaginations that the fact that they can get to see some of the real legends of the sport putting on the boots again. Yeah, it is, and I think. Um, you know, me and Hambo also want to do the players that have agreed to play a bit of justice by having a lot of support there. So uh, many people that can get down to Wilford Road on the 21st of April uh, that can, as possible, would be great. So, um, you know, these players, like I said, have not played for a long time. So there's as much, much support as they can get uh, on the day would be great. And where did the idea come from? Um, I just wanted to sort of um, have a Legends game. At the time when I thought of it, I didn't really know who to do it with. Um, but yeah, Ambo was all obviously the, the obvious choice in the end. Um, you know, every, everyone respects Ambo. You know what he's had to go through, and now, you know, going from a trust to a foundation where he's supporting other, you know, people who have been seriously injured or or hurt and, and that. So, um, you know, everyone respects Ambo, and, and everyone will always help Ambo. Um, so that just shows with the players that have agreed to play in the game. Yeah, um, and if we look ahead to the weekend, um, Quinn's away, it's a repeat of the, um, the Premiership final from last season. Obviously a few players from each side missing with the Six Nations, but it promises to be another classic, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I've not played them the last few times I've played, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, they play a great brand of rugby actually, they play a lot of tempo, an offloading game. Um, and they've probably taken it to another level and they've got probably bragging rights over us at the minute because they've won the last, last couple of games so uh, it's going to be tough with you know the guys being away you know hopefully we can get a few of the guys back for this weekend but it's um, it's going to be a tough game. Yeah it's, 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 a, it's an important part of the season isn't it this Six Nations period it's, it's a part of the season that the Tigers pride themselves on sort of standing up players coming through to sort of fill those gaps as well. Yeah, I, th I think what we don't really usually do, what we don't make excuses that we've lost so many players, we sort of just get on with it. The guys that come in do an outstanding job because not a lot of them have had a lot of rugby and uh, to come in when you've not played and then to sort of step up to that level is, is brilliant and um, the guys really do that and um, like I say, it's something we do pride ourselves on. And, um at this stage of the season, being top after the weekend, is it important to be there or, or is it just a case of...? Well, I think this is the make or break part of the season, I think. Um, you know, we didn't play too well at the, at the weekend, but what was the, the most important thing is that you win. Um, you know, it's, it's slightly different when you're playing Harlequins this weekend and then Saracens next week. They, they become real important games because you, know, you win those or you get pick-up points. You, you're in right in the sort of shake-up at the end of the season, and we want you know the home semi-finals.